Something's Brewing, sponsored by Sacred Heart University. Learn the science of beer in Connecticut's first brewing certificate program. Something's Brewing takes us to Southbury. The owner of Watson Farmhouse Brewery has been brewing for decades. In fact, he brews right here out of his barn. His beers have really taken off, so you're going to see a lot more of them soon. John Watson joining us now with Watson Farmhouse Brewery. Hi, John. Nice hey. to see you. How are you doing? <laughs> Great. So thanks for having us. This is uh, where the magic happens, right? <laughs> yeah, this is the lair. Yeah, what I love doing? it. So great. So you have quite the background. You've been brewing for quite some time. Yeah, I started home brewing in the mid-90s and had won my first award by like 1998 nationally. I actually got some work out of it. By 2000, I brewed my first commercial beer through Hammer and Nails. Played around with other little uh, breweries and was able to guest brew a couple things just here and there and everywhere. Brewing beer has mm -hmm. been kind of our life's goal to like perfect it and, and we're doing that now. And before we talk about your beer, talk about your space here um, because it's not like your average tap room, but you do sell your beer where people can come and, and pick Yeah, up. so we built this 2,000 square foot brewery over the course of a few years. Um, we finally got it up and running uh, in 2000. We started doing draft beers through our friends that all have bars throughout Connecticut. And then uh, once all those bars shut down, we focus now on canning and bottling our beer in uh, 500 milliliter bottles. That's great. All right, well, let's talk about your first beer, uh, the Italian Pilsner. We actually um, brewed this beer in conjunction with a friend of mine who's a chef who owns Good Old Days Pizza mm -hmm. in Newtown. They focus on Detroit-style pizza and stuff. But we got together and wanted to make an Italian-style Pilsner and use 100% Italian-grown Pilsner malt as well as German hops. It goes through a little bit of a dry hopping in primary fermentation, which mm. gives it more of that herbal, flowery character. And that Pilsner malt is, has a very good sweetness in the body, so it's pretty rounded beer, nice to drink in, with food and stuff. Next up is your IPA. Yes, so our IPA is uh, not really an East Coast IPA or a West Coast IPA, it's just, uh, it's not filtered. We do use uh, oats and adjunct grains in it that make it hazy wheat. Um, we do dry hop it with Simcoe and Citra hops. It's very balanced, it's not overly bitter and it's not overly sweet. It's kind of like in the middle, so we just call it maybe neutral coast IPA. Mm -hmm. We release it all the time. It's one of our best selling beers. Great. And another best seller is your maple brown ale. Yeah, so the maple brown, I used to brew in Vermont mm -hmm. for a brewery called Beer Naked. We always loved to work with you know, what we had around and maple syrup, of course, every year was in abundance. So right. we added it to our maple brown. Everybody loved it. So I kind of brought that back to Connecticut and we work with Maple Craft out of Newtown, Sandy Hook. Mm -hmm. um, they supply all our maple syrup for that. We made it once and now people won't let us stop making it. So we just keep making it as the demand uh, rolls around. All right, excited to try that. And you have a sour cherry too. Yeah, so the, our sour cherry is a Berliner Weiss uh, style beer and it goes through a, a fermentation in the kettle and add sour cherries, uh, English Morello cherries that we pick ourselves up in the Hudson Valley every year specifically for that beer. So if you want to pick up a four pack or maybe a keg, John, <laughs> what yeah. do people do? Um, generally just check our social media for uh, uh, when we're open to the public here in South Area at our brewery. We'll mm -hmm. be posting upcoming dates uh, pretty soon. Great. As well as we do pop-up sales or home delivery. Um, we're at a bunch of liquor stores, but uh, four packs, uh, the closer you come to Southbury, the more available at liquor stores they are. Great, and we just want to introduce your wife. Yeah, this we is my lovely before. wife, Tracy. We were talking before, and she kind of started all of this, buying that home brewing kit for you yeah. so many years ago, right? Yeah, she caused the problem. <laughs> well, cheers to that, because this yeah. is some great beer. Something's brewing here in Southbury. Yeah. Cheers. cheers.